Hey, what's up everyone? In part one of this video, we got Unity to recognize the difference between controller and mouse input versus pressing one of these buttons here on an Xbox controller, start or select, but we didn't quite get it working yet, recognizing these joystick inputs, the D buttons, or these trigger buttons on top of the controller. So that's what we're gonna take a look at here in part two. But if you haven't seen part one yet, I recommend you go back and watch that part first because that's going to get it all set up. And then you can come back here and finish up with part two. Let's get going. To get these joystick access recognitions working, we're going to go underneath this big if statement here and write a new one that says if input dot any key. And the important distinction here is we're using any key, not any key down, meaning that it will recognize if a button is being held down because joystick, uh, joystick access is usually used for things like making a character move and walk. And in those cases, you are going to be holding that button down. So we're gonna say if input dot any, got <laughs> any key, and then within here, if input dot get access raw, and then we're going to say horizontal is not equal to zero, meaning it is in motion. We are going to return input mode dot keyboard. And then we're going to do the same thing here for vertical. And we are going to return input mode dot keyboard. Now, why is it keyboard and not joystick? Well, that is because Unity will only recognize input dot any key for keyboard presses. So we don't want uh, using the uh, AWSD keys to, uh, to make it think that we're now using a controller. So we do need to account for the fact that uh, if any key is held down and it is one of those uh, access buttons, uh, it is a keyboard, not a joystick. But now we are just gonna copy these two lines go underneath here, and then we are going to put uh, we're just going to change this part at the end. Actually, we're just going to say it's going to now be a controller. So if it recognizes an access, oops, what I do, an access is being uh, used and it's not uh, while any key is being held down, it has to be on the controller. Let's go back to Unity and test that out. So here we are in Unity. Use this joystick, and yep, there we go. Turns it to controller, but that still doesn't work for this one here nothing happens and neither does the D-pad and neither does the trigger buttons. So let's take a look at that as a final part. So to fix this bit, we have to kind of understand how the Xbox keyboard mappings work or for other controllers. And in this case here, I'm just looking at this and we can see that the horizontal and vertical X and Y axis exist on, well, the X and Y axis for the main joystick. On this right joystick, it exists on the fourth axis for vertical and fifth for horizontal, and then seventh and sixth for the D-pad. And on these trigger buttons, it uses the ninth and 10th. How does that translate to Unity? Let's go take a look. If I go into the project settings tab over here and go into the input manager, we're going to see that we have these input accesses set up already by default. This is, again, this is an empty Unity project, so nothing here has been changed. Uh, but what I'm interested in is this second pair of axes down here. So we have these top ones, which actually relate to the keyboard controls, left, right, A, and D. Uh, but those aren't what I'm looking for. I'm looking for these ones here that say horizontal, and this has to do with the joystick. Aha, here's that X axis, and here's these other numbered access inputs. So let's just, for starters, duplicate this first array element. We'll make it horizontal and duplicate vertical. I'm going to rename this to horizontal two. I'm going to refer back to that image. Okay, so we're going to handle this right joystick, which says we need horizontal to be on the fifth axis and vertical to be on the fourth. So horizontal two, I'm going to change x axis to the fifth axis. And vertical, I'm going to rename it vertical two. And then I'm going to change this from the y axis to the fourth. We're going to go back into our code. I'm going to copy paste these two lines. I'm going to say horizontal two, vertical two, and then copy paste these two lines and do the same thing, horizontal two and vertical two, format this, save, and let's test it out one more time. One more time, here we go. Right joystick button. Yep, recognizes we're using a controller, click back, 
joyst left joystick also recognizes we're using a controller. So we're almost done. We just need to do the D-pad now and the trigger buttons. The D-pad will be the same. The trigger buttons are just going to be slightly different. Okay, just to save some time, I duplicated some additional array elements. I made horizontal D, which is for the D-pad, and I changed it to the 6th axis. Uh, vertical D for the D-pad, 7th axis. And then I have two others called left and right trigger, which are sent to the 9th and 10th axis. Uh, and then within the code, I did make one modification here. Uh, I realized the only time we need to put any code duplicated within this if statement, any key, is if we're using the access twice. So in this case, horizontal and vertical are used both for keyboard input and for joystick input. But uh, the second, and that's why we have this here, but the second horizontal, uh, horizontal two and vertical two is only used for the joystick as is the D-pad uh, axis buttons and as is the left and right trigger buttons. So they actually don't need to go in this if statement again. One other thing to be aware of, uh, and I just realized I have this one the wrong way. This should be a less than. Uh, we don't need to use doesn't equal zero. We can, but really the trigger buttons only go one way. They only go down whereas the access uh, joysticks go left and right, up and down. So we really just need to, tr to check if these values are going to be less than zero in order to get that uh, controller recognition to work there. But let's go ahead and test this out. So here we are, we'll use the D-pad, controller, click on the mouse, use the trigger, controller, and the other uh, trigger, controller. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you found this helpful, informative, useful. I will just point out that the new Unity's newer input system, uh, it does just have recognition controls that tells you straight up whether or not you're using a keyboard and mouse or a controller. Uh, so this is really if you're using the Unity input legacy system, whether you're stuck using it, whether you just prefer using it, uh, whatever the reason is, uh, this is my own method for doing this type of detection. So I hope it helps someone out, out there. Uh, resources underneath the video. Uh, I'll have a link to this whole script on GitHub and a link to that Xbox mapping image as well. So thanks very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.